Dingo, Ollie, great to have you here. I'm excited to hear what's new in the automotive world. Well, since we have introduced the Ampeg product family last year, we have received lots of very positive feedback from our automotive OEM and Tier 1 customers. And this is really encouraging us that the Ampeg architecture is the way to go. Okay, what sort of trends are we seeing from our customers' demands though? Well, a key trend is silicon carbide technology, both for 400 volt as well 800 volt e-drive systems. And this is what Ampeg is really made for. High reliable, even for more complicated to handle silicon carbide devices, as well as very low strain inductance, boosting up the performance. Ingo, what's the best way to get started with an Ampeg? The fastest and easiest way is to use our Ampeg application kit. This is a fully functional six-pack driver, which is just plugged to the MPEG module and you can start testing. What are the key benefits though, of this particular kit? There are three major benefits. The first one is that there is no need for the customer to develop an own adapter board. Second, there is no need for any kind of configuration for gate resistors, for example, because Semicron already did that. You just tell us what kind of MPEG module you want to use and we select the right application kit. But the most significant benefit is clearly, it is so simple and easy, you just plug everything together and go for it. Ingo, there are 400 volt systems, 800 volt systems, modules with IGBTs, modules with silicon carbide. Does this application sample cover all of that? It does indeed. The application kit is very flexible and the purpose is to give the customer a tool at hand to be able to react to all kinds of technologies and configurations such as silicon or silicon carbide. Oli, one last question then from my side. What's next for the MPAC? Well, this year we will introduce laser weldable main terminals, which will simplify the mass volume production for the inverters at a customer site. On top of that, we work on a concept for a smaller MPAC module for applications up to 150 kilowatt of power and this will significantly reduce the inverted uh, size at the, uh, at the car application. Great. Um, so just to summarize, uh, the laser welding terminals are really going to enable high volume production um, and the new design is even going to involve even more higher energy density systems. Absolutely. Great. Ollie, I'm looking forward to it. Ingo, thanks for your time as well. You're welcome.